The process begins with an individual or their family agreeing to donate their organs. In most cases, organ donors are patients who've died in hospital, who've been declared brain dead, where all brain activity has definitely and irreversibly stopped. Their organs are then artificially maintained using a ventilator. Organs suitable for this type of donation are the lungs, heart, liver, kidneys, pancreas, intestines and the uterus. Doctors can also remove tissue from corneas, skin, heart valves, veins, arteries, tendons or bones. Bone marrow can also be transplanted, although it must come from a living donor. The time frame possible between tissue removal and transplantation is as little as 3 to 4 hours for a heart or 24 to 36 hours for a kidney. Transplant material is transported in airtight ice boxes which must be kept below 4 degrees Celsius. The recipient is chosen according to their compatibility with the donor, regarding blood and tissue type, or a similar morphology or immune system. That's because the introduction of a foreign organ into the body causes the immune system to react as if under threat and attack it. To avoid rejection of the newly transplanted organ, doctors use medicine to suppress the recipient's immune system. Transplants are extremely delicate. The organ is reconnected to the circulatory system and slowly warmed to enable it to function again.